Hey guys, this is a follow-up to my uh, last video I did on LDN titled uh, Proof LDN Really Works. Um, if you didn't see that video, no need to go back. Everything that um, I said in that video will be covered here in this video. So I had my next blood draw uh, just the other day and got that paperwork back. So this is just kind of a follow-up. Um, what I wanted to do was have those, uh, that paperwork and this next paperwork, and then I was going to go over them. The thing is, I put that paperwork in a special place so I'd remember where it was, and I forgot where I put that. Uh, so probably in about two years or something, I'll go through a folder or a drawer somewhere, and I'll find that paperwork. Um... But I don't really need it. The only thing I did want it for was to go through, because other people were, because I was talking about the, um, the uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, uh, the paradise, paradise antibodies. Um, that is the number that they use, um, the test that they diagnose you with Hashimoto's. If that number is above nine, um, you're clinically diagnosed as having Hashimoto's. So, um, and I pointed out on that last video, that number was 16. Now, I'm not a real big numbers guy. I don't follow all my numbers. I kind of did in the beginning because I was trying to figure out everything. Uh, but as long as I feel good, I don't, I don't follow these, these thyroid numbers that in depth unless I feel off. Um, in, in fact, my doctor, the first thing he, before we ever go over any kind of, uh, blood work or, or paperwork, the first thing he always asks me is, how are you feeling? And we kind of, uh, ad adjust dosages and stuff more on how I'm feeling than, hey, what does the paperwork say? But, um, and, and, and then we see if they coincide. If some way I'm feeling coincides with the off number, then, hey, then we back that up. But... Regardless. So anyway, I lost the other paperwork. No big, no big deal. But the thing is, uh, trying to find that other paperwork, I found older paperwork. And I'm not going to go too far in depth with the older paperwork other than to show the, some of the numbers. And this is December 14th. Um, now this was pre LDN treatment. Um, and, and, and that number is at 82 on here. Uh, all my other numbers came in right about in range uh, for, for the full thi thyroid panel. And if you're not getting a full thyroid panel, you're, you're, you need to change up doctors. And, and that is your TSH, your T4, your free T4, your T3, your free T3, your reverse T3, and then your antibodies number. All these in this number, this is uh, December 2014, uh, my TSH was a little low. It came in at 0.14, uh, not way out of range, but it was low. And then my antibodies were high and that was 82 and that's pre LDN. And that's all we're going to touch on that one. Now this one is September 17th. So, uh, just a little over a year ago and all my numbers were coming in my TSH was low again on this, really low on this one. Uh, it was 0 0.02, um, but all my other numbers came in pretty good or, or within normal ranges. Um, but my antibodies number at this, now this is last year, came in at 26. So, you know, that's it, it's been a, a period, but from 14 to September 17th, that uh, numbers dropped from 83 to 26. And now this is on LDN treatment. I can't remember my exact date for starting, but this is September 17th. So I've probably been on LDN maybe close to two years, a uh, year and a half at least. So, um, and that number had dropped down to 26. So on my latest numbers, now my last one where I, I don't have that paperwork anymore, but I made that other video, that number was 16. And I thought, and like I said, I don't really follow numbers, but when he showed me that 16, because I, I know the number that classifies you as having Hashimoto, Hashimoto, Hashimoto's is nine. So when I saw that 16, I was like, wow, I'm, you know, that's pretty close to 
being in remission. Well, the number this time did drop. It did drop down, but only one. It went down to 15. So nothing, that's a six month period, but it is coming down. It didn't go up. And then for others who are wondering about your other numbers, I'll, I'll give you them on, on this latest draw. And uh, so my uh, T3, free T3 is 3.1. My reverse T3 was at 14. Uh, you know, both of those are middle range. My free T4 came in at 0.1, little low, but within the normal range. Uh, the TSH came in, it's low again, 0.1, uh, 0 0.01. So that's pretty low, but I'm feeling good. I'm not too concerned about that number. Um... And then the antibodies number came in at 15, one point lower than last time. Uh, so there wasn't a large drop. But now, but but if you take that number, that 15 from my 2014 numbers where I was at 83, you know, that's a pretty good uh, decrease. So um, I'm six points from being in total Hashimoto's uh, remission. So that's the paperwork. Um, the numbers are still going down, still proof that the LDN is working. And I want you to know now, I don't do any, I'm not on any special diets. I'm not gluten free. I don't, um, I like to say I do keto, which means like every third meal I eat like a, a totally keto meal, but I cheat like crazy. I eat crap. I drink crap. Um, so I, I'm not following, other than the LDN and doing a slight keto diet, I'm not doing anything special and those numbers are dropping. Uh, and, but besides the numbers, I feel great. I'm telling the doc, man, uh, you know, I feel great. Now, if you don't know my story, I kind of went into it. Um, I'd, I'd heard about the LDN. Uh, when I first, not when I first got Hashimoto's, but doing research, I'm a research freak. Anytime I find out something new, I mean, I'm Googling YouTube and I want to find out all this information. Anyway, when doing a lot of research on Hashimoto's, I noticed this LDN uh, medicine coming up here and there. And I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. You know, I read the articles I, I, and, I, and I watched the videos and I thought, it, hey, that's pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm going to look into it. Uh, but when I, I, st I started getting the hand pain in, right, and, and, uh, and hip pain, and uh, so when I saw my doctor, I told him about it. Uh, he said he thought it, it, it sounded like I was getting early onset rheumatoid arthritis. Um, now, if you don't know it, if you are diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder, I call them disorders. They're, they call them diseases. I don't really think it's so much a disease. It's not like it's, uh, you know... Um, you can pass it on or whatever. But anyway, regardless, he said that he thought I was in early uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, stages um, and he was going to run the test. It, it, and I'm going back. Uh, so if you have an autoimmune uh, disorder disease, you are more likely to be susceptible to getting other autoimmune disorder diseases because your immune system's already out of whack attacking something in your body, such as with Hashimoto's, your system's attacking your thyroid. Well, you know, it doesn't take too much more for because your system's out of whack it, to attack a different um, function system in your body and give you another autoimmune disorder disease, such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, MS, who knows what. So... Uh, so when I went in for that appointment and the doc said, hey, I think you might be on early uh, stages of rheumatoid arthritis, I said, hey, I don't have anything to lose, right? I said, Let's, I'm going to give this LDN a try and see what happens. So um, we didn't say it then, but I went home. I did all my research. I got my paperwork all. I was ready to go in and fight with the doctor, all right? I had stacks of research, uh, clinical studies. I was going to go in there and, and get this LDN. Well, uh, so I went in and I, and I told the doc about it. I made a special appointment. I didn't wait till my six week. I waited like two months out, went back and I said, 
you know, hey, Doc, you know, we talked about that rheumatoid arthritis in my Hashimoto's, and um, I've been hearing about this LDN, this low-dose naltrexone medication, and how it's really working good. And uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I got another patient dr doing that. You want to try it? I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, and here I was, I had all this paperwork because everybody told me, you know, a lot of doctors don't know about it or they feel it's like something strange and they don't want to try. So I was ready to go in and fight the fight and he was already on board. He was like, yeah, let's do it. So that's what got me started on it. You can watch my other videos about that. But um, so I went on a little bit here, but that I, this is the proof. The, the, uh, the numbers are dropping. I feel great. And uh, if you're not on LDN, I highly recommend that you get on it. Uh, it's worked wonders for me. Hopefully, it'll work wonders for you. You can leave your comments if you have similar results. Um, it, you know, nothing works for everybody, uh, but this is definitely working for me. Hopefully, it'll work for you. All right, have a good one, guys.